Hello, it is Friday, May 29th. It's been raining here in Indiana, but right now the sun is out and the skies are blue, and it's a wonderful time to take a few minutes for a message of encouragement from the Word of God. You know that how we've been studying along, we talked about how Christians, uh, if anyone would make an accusation of wrong against them, that they have misbehaved in some way, that they would be ashamed because everyone would see the good conduct that we have, that we're the best uh, citizens, that we're the best workers, we're the best bosses, we're the best husbands and wives, and whatever our relationships are, that our relationship with Christ impacts that and makes us the very best. And then one of the most encouraging passages comes next. It's in 1 Peter chapter 3 and verse 8. He says there, Finally, all of you have unity of mind, sympathy, brotherly love, a tender heart, and a humble mind. When you think about those beautiful qualities, those are the qualities that a Christian has. As you think about this, all of you, you have this unity of mind, that you're united with other Christians and you share something in common with them as you go through this life. And because of that, you have sympathy, you care for them, you have brotherly love, there, there is that family relationship. You have a tender heart and a humble mind that you are touched with their cares, with their problems, and they are touched with yours and a humble mind in which we all just want to serve one another. Uh, we read on here and he says a, a, a little bit further, Do not repay evil for evil or reviling for reviling, but on the contrary, bless, for to this you were called that you may obtain a blessing. When we think about this, the Christian isn't always looking at how we can get even, how he can settle the score, but instead he's just serving God. When someone reviles, uh, we don't retaliate. Uh, when someone uh, gives us evil, we're not looking for some way in which to repay them for that evil that they have given us. He says, but instead we're wanting a blessing. And then he quotes this Old Testament passage, and he says there, Whoever desires to love life and see good days, we all want that, don't we? Whoever desires to love life and see good days, let him keep his tongue from evil and his lips from seeking deceit. Let him turn away from evil and do good. Let him seek peace and pursue it. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Sometimes we can become a little overwhelmed, and we can become focused on our problems and our difficulties. But we want to love life, and we want to see good days. And so we're careful with our words, he says here, so we don't get in as much trouble with our words as other people do. And something very special here, it says that when you're living that righteous life, you're, you're living the life of a Christian, the Lord's ears are open to your prayers. And so we can take all of our problems and all of our cares and all of the cares we have for others and all of the praise and, and blessing we have for God and we can offer that up in prayer because God is ready to hear. His eyes are on us as well. He sees what we're going through. He knows what we're doing and He knows the sacrifices that we're making. And so as you look down through here, you see uh, what great uh, truths are found within this passage. And so I'd ask you to look at this today as you consider uh, what the Word of God has to say. Uh, would you love life and see good days? Well, there's some things here it says to do. But don't become overwhelmed with the problems that you face. And don't become overwhelmed with the difficulties that are there. Uh, we see there we can have this special relationship with others, this special relationship with God. We can be living righteous lives, tender-hearted. We can care for others and they care for us. Isn't that in itself a great blessing to know that as you show care for others, that you have all those same ones caring for you when you have some difficulty in your life. Uh, as I look here, he closes out with, with a, a statement here that I think is really a, a powerful one. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Uh, you know, we may look at people who are living lives of sin, living lives of worldliness, and we think, well, don't they just have it? No, because they don't have God. Uh, they don't have the blessings that we have in being Christians. And so I hope you think about that today. And uh, everyone needs a little bit of encouragement from time to time. And as you think about those things, maybe uh, this will stir you up to be encouraged, to realize uh, that here you have this, as it's described here in 1 Peter, this very beautiful life in which you serve others. Others are concerned about you. God is watching over you. God is hearing your prayer. And you have this blessing to love life and to see good days. And best of all, we have, after this life is over, the hope of eternal life. So a, a wonderful, abundant life here, 
and the hope of eternal life. We hope that you'll consider those things. I hope they're an encouragement to you today uh, as you think about those things. Uh, my name is Paul Adams, and this has been 5 Minutes of Encouragement. <music>